Hello. Hello and welcome back to another Fun Fact Friday. Humans are not alone when it comes to thumb sucking. It is a trait found in the mammalian kingdom and can be seen in monkeys, apes, chimpanzees, dogs, cats, lions, tigers and bears. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my! Lions and tigers and bears! Oh my! Lions and tigers and bears! Oh my! And and bears. Oh my. Now, elephants do it slightly differently. They would struggle to get their actual thumb into their mouths, so they use a thumb standing. Fun Fact Friday, week 114. Elephants suck their thumbs. Sucking is a built-in reflex that has many benefits to babies. It can help to mellow fussy babies, it helps the plates of a newborn skull to realign, and sucking equals food and mum, therefore it also equals comfort. Premature babies that suck their thumbs have been shown to leave hospitals far sooner than their non-sucking counterparts. It has physiological effects too, affecting both heart and breathing rates, as well as regulating stomach muscle movements and thereby aiding digestion. Sucking a thumb can act to calm children in stressful situations, much like a cigarette to a smoker and a drink to a drinker. However, negativity surrounding it can move it into the realms of addiction, such as smoking, drinking and overeating. Thumb sucking before the age of three or four has shown to have limited ill effects and thumb sucking has often subsided by then. There are issues associated with teeth after that age, but if the thumb merely rests in the mouth, the potential risks are negligible. If however the child is a forceful sucker, it can cause issues to teeth alignment and in extreme cases, jaw misalignment. Thumb sucking is often thought as cute in young children and has more negative connotations in older children. The more negativity a child receives about sucking their thumb, the stronger the chance a habit will develop, rather than just being a natural developmental stage that they can move on from. Thumb sucking has been noted as being the first addiction and stopping it can be as hard for some as quitting nicotine, alcohol or any other drugs. The important thing to remember for parents attempting to stop thumb sucking is that relapse is common, just as with any other addiction. Your job is to help them find a healthy replacement coping mechanism and it will take persistence, forgiveness and patience. Just like human newborns, elephant calves are born with a strong sucking reflex. It helps them to instinctively know what to do when confronted with a breast. Sucking equals food and mum. What could be more comforting? Apart from providing comfort, trunk sucking helps an elephant calf to learn how to use and control its newly found face worm. <laughs> an ele elephant's lengthy appendage has more than 50,000 individual muscles and it can make controlling it a complicated process. Sucking on its trunk can help young calves to learn how to manipulate and finesse the muscles to fine tune its use. Check out this little one having fun discovering how to use its trunk. There's another similarity that elephants share with us humans, is that some of them never stop trunk sucking, or in our case, thumb sucking. Mature bull elephants have been observed trunk sucking when they're upset or nervous. In the case of humans, along with thumb sucking, we carry on some childhood habits well into adulthood. A survey of over 1400 adults has revealed that 24% still sleep with toys, 21% sleep with a light on, 10% own a comforter or blanket, and 8% stroke skin or soft item, and the most relevant to this week's fun fact, 12% still suck their thumb or another digit. Don't believe us? Here's Harvey and Sarah to tell you more. My name is Harvey. I'm 65 years old. I live in East Meadow, New York, and I'm a thumb sucker. I think that thumb sucking fills a void. Yes, you are correct. I am an adult thumb sucker, um, and I'm not embarrassed by it. Um, I was for a really long time. I was sucking my thumb all as a child, and probably around the age of eight, seven or eight years old is when it became very clear to me that people in my life, my family, teachers, schoolmates, friends, 
thought that I should be, not be doing that. That it became very clear that they thought I was too old to still be doing that. If you scold your child for doing something like sucking their thumb, it actually only reinforces the behavior because um, thumb sucking is used as self-comforting. It only makes them want to suck their thumb more because they want um, relief from that negative stress. I think it's only prudent that I use this as an opportunity to confess. I was an adult thumb thucker. Adult thumb thucker? Hmm. I was a thumb sucker as well, well into my 20s. All mammals are born to suck. Some of us stop as children and for some it turns into a comforting lifetime habit. Remember that for most children it's a perfectly natural developmental stage and is not something that should be ridiculed something that can actually have the opposite effect on children and can turn it into a long-term habit that can become as hard to kick as alcohol and nicotine. Thank you for joining us for another Fun Fact Friday. We would love to hear from you, so please like, comment and share to show you care. And we'll see, see you next time. week. <laughs>